this dude right here. That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Um, I know that egg whites are like the bodybuilder's friend. The weight loss uh, breakfast go-to. It has a lot of uh, benefits. It's got no fat. It fills you up. You feel like you ate breakfast. It's awesome. And I'm not... Uh, I, I like egg whites, truthfully. I've always, I have always have. Whenever I used to eat boiled eggs, still do. Uh, I always like the texture of the egg white better than the yolk. Um, but I'm a sucker for scrambled eggs. And so that's usually how egg whites are prepared. So, I had a question from somebody saying that, how do you make egg whites palatable? Because let's face it, egg whites don't really have much to them. It's a, it's a bunch of protein. Egg whites contain four-fifths of the protein of an egg. The yolk has the other fifth. Um, but it doesn't have much else than that. Uh, the yolk, actually, <clears throat> if I may bust out the tab of information, says the yolk, if you eliminate it, you get rid of iron, potassium, folate, selenium, Vitamin A, E, B, D, biotin, and choline. Okay? So those are all very good things for your body. But, along with that, adds extra fat and cholesterol, which is usually what people are afraid of. What the problem with egg whites is, people don't like the texture. When you got that nice, fluffy, uh, golden-colored scrambled egg, mmm, creamy, delicious just you can just taste it can't you yeah you want breakfast you want breakfast now I do I, anyways I'm just I'm just projecting my thoughts onto yours because I I'm hungry and I want some eggs so where do we find ourselves in this conundrum of egg whites versus egg yolks and 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 where do we fill this gap of providing ourselves with nutrition because, yeah, we all want to get ripped, we all want to have protein and not add extra fat. And dude, I'm cutting, bro. I can't have these extra calories in my breakfast. I get it. So, where do we fall? What I suggest is, okay, instead of having 1,500 egg whites, for every maybe four eggs that you have, egg whites, okay, have one yolk mixed in. Okay, so what's this gonna do? It's gonna provide you some necessary protein, uh, so you get the full protein of the egg. But then it's gonna throw in those nutritional benefits, those things that will help you feel better, those things that will nourish your body. So, out of every four eggs, you're going to take one and going to add the yolk. This is also going to help with that texture. This is going to help with the flavor. That unctuousness of the yolk, unctuous, ooh, that's a good word, um, of the yolk will, will help temper out that rubberiness of the egg, white, um, and, and make the whole meal experience better. Because that's what this channel's about. This channel's about feeding yourself for your body, however you want to feed that, if you're trying to get big or you're trying to lose weight, whatever, or if you are just trying to feed your palate and still maintain a healthy body, because that's important. It is very, very important. People don't place enough importance whenever they're working out and eating for their bodies on flavor. Man, I, I, I saw somebody bust open a can of chicken the other day and just start eating it. Dude, but get some red hot, get some ranch seasoning, get something on there so that it doesn't suck so bad. <laughs> Seriously, it, it doesn't have to be torture. Eating while you're maintaining a nice, healthy body shouldn't be something that is that is just like, oh, I gotta eat. You should enjoy it, man. You should enjoy it every time, without fail, without question. So, 
that's my suggestion for those out there who are wondering about that conundrum of I hate egg white texture but I don't want to eat full eggs go ahead and, and if you have a problem with just one go ahead and split it in half start small people always want to go full bore and then they get sick of it it's like it's like going cold turkey you you can't go from eating you know like on the biggest loser which is a great show I'm not knocking it but they go from eating donuts on a daily basis five times a day to like eating flaxseed and working out 10 hours a day. It's an extreme, extreme adjustment to the mental health and the physical health of your body. Not everybody can do that, especially when you don't have 10 hours a day to devote to working out and three paid professional personal trainers sitting there working with you. It's you at home by yourself on a Friday night and you want pizza and I get that. I get it. So start small. Start somewhere in the middle. Dude, if, you, if it takes you, if you hate broccoli besides broccoli with cheese, then eat broccoli with cheese, man. Do that. At least you're getting something nutritious. At least you're getting something in your body that you want. You know what I'm saying? At least you are feeding yourself something nutritious and then cut back a little bit. Cut back a little more till you enjoy the taste of broccoli. That's what I talk about when I talk about retraining your palate, retraining your mouth against all of these chemical additives and all these flavorings that people throw into all the food. Um, all these corporations load this stuff with fat and sugar and it's delicious. I get it. But to eat healthier, you gotta start somewhere. So sometimes you gotta start with that fat, man. You gotta start with that sugar and just throw it in with something healthy. You know, that's the only thing you can do. So anyways, rambling. Um, so with the eggs, once again, take this, incorporate some of that yolk, that nutrition, see where it lands you. Then, if you need to, start breaking it down a little bit. Maybe you can do half a yolk you know, whatever. Or you, if you like that flavor, take that into account, add those extra calories, and maybe you just don't have something else that you want later on in the day. Because think about it, you're adding that extra volume of the yolk of the egg as well. So that's it. That's my rant for this uh, video. I hope you enjoy. Remember to eat for your palate, eat for your body, feed the palate, nourish the body. I'm Jake Croston. Subscribe. And, uh, We'll see you soon.